Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like full medames. A dish made from fava beans cooked with spices and typically served with bread. With the content, full medames, often simply referred to as full, is a popular and nutritious Sudanese dish made from fava beans, broad beans. It's a staple breakfast item in Sudan and many other countries in the Middle East and North Africa. Here's how to prepare full medames. Ingredients. 2 cups of dried fava beans. Water for soaking and cooking. Salt, to taste. Olive oil or vegetable oil. Optional toppings. Chopped fresh tomatoes, onions, garlic, parsley, cumin, lemon juice, and hard-boiled eggs. Instructions. Soak the fava beans. Start by rinsing the dried fava beans thoroughly under running water to remove any dirt or debris. Place the fava beans in a large bowl and cover them with plenty of water. Allow them to soak for at least 8 hours or overnight. This process softens the beans and reduces their cooking time. Cook the fava beans. Drain the soaked fava beans and rinse them again. In a large pot, add the soaked fava beans and enough water to cover them by about 2 inches. Bring the water to a boil over high heat. Reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and simmer the beans for about 1 to 1.5 hours, or until they are tender and fully cooked. The cooking time may vary depending on the age and size of the beans. Add salt to taste during the last 10 to 15 minutes of cooking. Mash and season. Once the fava beans are fully cooked and tender, remove them from the heat. Using a potato masher or the back of a spoon, partially mash the beans to create a chunky consistency. You don't need to mash them completely. Some beans can remain whole. Serve. Full medames can be served hot or at room temperature. It's traditionally drizzled with olive oil or vegetable oil, which adds a rich and smooth texture. Top the full with optional garnishes such as chopped fresh tomatoes, onions, garlic, parsley, cumin, lemon juice, and hard-boiled eggs. These toppings enhance the flavor and add freshness to the dish. Full is typically enjoyed with flatbreads or pita bread for dipping. Full medames is a wholesome and protein-rich dish that's not only popular in Sudan but also widely appreciated throughout the Middle East and North Africa. It's a satisfying and nutritious breakfast or meal that can be customized with various toppings to suit your taste. Shawarma. Grilled and thinly sliced marinated meat, usually beef or chicken, wrapped in flatbread with sauces and vegetables. Shawarma is a popular Middle Eastern street food that has gained international popularity for its delicious, savory flavors. It consists of thinly sliced marinated meat, usually beef, chicken, lamb, or a combination of these meats, which is stacked on a vertical rotisserie or skewer. The meat is slow cooked as it rotates, and it's typically served in a flatbread wrap or pita bread with various accompaniments and sauces. Here's how to make a classic beef or chicken shawarma. Ingredients. For the marinated meat. 1 pound of thinly sliced beef, chicken, or your choice of meat. 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 2 teaspoons ground cumin, 2 teaspoons ground coriander, 1 teaspoon ground paprika, 1 teaspoon ground turmeric, 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon, salt and black pepper, to taste, 2 tablespoons plain yogurt, optional, for tenderizing, 2 tablespoons olive oil, for the shawarma sauce, 1 half cup tahini sauce, sesame paste, 2 tablespoons plain yogurt, 2 tablespoons lemon juice, 2 cloves of garlic, minced, salt and pepper, to taste. For serving, pita bread or flatbreads, sliced tomatoes, sliced cucumbers, sliced onions, chopped parsley or cilantro, pickles, optional. Instructions. Marinate the meat. In a bowl, combine the minced garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, paprika, turmeric, ground cinnamon, salt, black pepper, plain yogurt, if using, an olive oil. Mix well to form a marinade. Add the thinly sliced meat to the marinade, ensuring each slice is coated. Cover and refrigerate for at least one hour, or preferably longer for better flavor. Prepare the shawarma sauce. In another bowl, whisk together tahini sauce, plain yogurt, lemon juice, minced garlic, salt, and pepper. Adjust the consistency with water if needed to achieve your desired thickness. This sauce will be used as a drizzle for the shawarma. Cook the marinated meat. Heat a grill, grill pan, or skillet over medium-high heat. Cook the marinated meat slices in batches for a few minutes on each side until they are cooked through and have a nice char. You can also use a vertical rotisserie if available. As each batch is cooked, transfer it to a plate and cover with foil to keep it warm. 
Assemble the shawarma. Warm the pita bread or flatbreads briefly in a dry skillet or microwave. Lay out a piece of bread. Add slices of cooked meat and drizzle with the prepared shawarma sauce. Top with sliced tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, chopped parsley or cilantro, and pickles if desired. Garasa. A type of flatbread made from wheat flour, similar to pita bread. Garasa, also known as gursa, or garasa, is a type of Sudanese flatbread that's a staple in Sudanese cuisine. It's simple to make and serves as an excellent accompaniment to various dishes like stews, soups, and grilled meats. Here's a basic recipe for making garasa. Ingredients. 3 cups of all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon of sugar. 1 teaspoon of salt. 1 teaspoon of instant yeast. 1 cup of lukewarm water. Vegetable oil for frying. Instructions. Prepare the dough. In a large mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, sugar, salt, and instant yeast. Gradually add the lukewarm water to the dry ingredients while mixing. Use your hands or a wooden spoon to form a dough. Knead the dough on a lightly floured surface for about 10 to 15 minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. You can sprinkle additional flour as needed to prevent sticking. Let the dough rise. Place the dough in a clean bowl and cover it with a damp cloth or plastic wrap. Allow the dough to rest and rise in a warm, draft-free place for about 1 to 2 hours, or until it has doubled in size. Divide and shape. After the dough has risen, punch it down to release any excess air. Divide the dough into small, golf ball-sized portions. You should get about 10 to 12 portions. Roll each portion into a smooth ball. Flatten the dough. Heat a skillet or griddle over medium-high heat and add a small amount of vegetable oil. Take one of the dough balls and flatten it with your hands or a rolling pin into a thin, round disc. Aim for a thickness of about 1 8 to 1 quarter inch. Fry the garasa. Place the flattened dough in the hot skillet or griddle and cook for about 2 to 3 minutes on each side, or until it's golden brown and slightly puffed. You may need to add a small amount of oil to the skillet or griddle as you cook each garasa to prevent sticking and help with browning. Serve. Remove the garasa from the skillet and drain any excess oil on paper towels. Garasa is best served warm and is often used to scoop up stews and other Sudanese dishes. Garasa is a versatile and delicious Sudanese flatbread that can be enjoyed with a wide variety of foods. It's a delightful addition to your meals and a wonderful way to experience Sudanese cuisine. Salatit Kalta. A spicy salad made with tomatoes, green chilies, and onions. Salatit Kalta, also known as Salatat Kalta, or simply Kalta, is a spicy and flavorful Sudanese salad that pairs well with grilled meats and other savory dishes. It's known for its bold flavors and refreshing qualities. Here's how you can prepare salat eat kalta. Ingredients. 2 large tomatoes, finely chopped. 1 small red onion, finely chopped. 2 to 3 fresh green chilies, such as serrano or Thai chilies, finely chopped, adjust to your spice preference. 1 half cup fresh cilantro leaves, finely chopped. 1 quarter cup fresh mint leaves, finely chopped. Juice of 1 to 2 limes or lemons, depending on your taste. Salt and black pepper, to taste. Optional. A drizzle of olive oil. Instructions. Prepare the vegetables. Wash and finely chop the tomatoes, red onion, green chilies, cilantro, and mint. You can adjust the quantities to your taste. Combine the ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, combine the chopped tomatoes, red onion, green chilies, cilantro, and mint. Season and dress. Squeeze the juice of one or two limes, or lemons, over the salad, depending on how tangy you like it. Season the salad with salt and black pepper to taste. Start with a small amount and adjust to your preference. If desired, add a drizzle of olive oil to enhance the flavors and create a smoother texture. Toss and chill. Gently toss all the ingredients together until well combined. Refrigerate the salad for about 30 minutes to allow the flavors to meld and the salad to chill. Serve. Salat eat kalta is typically served cold as a side dish alongside grilled meats, bread, or other Sudanese dishes. Adjust the spice. Keep in mind that the spiciness of salat eat kalta largely depends on the green chilies you use. You can adjust the quantity of chilies to make it milder or spicier according to your preference. Salat eat kalta is a zesty and vibrant salad that adds a refreshing kick to your meals. Its combination of fresh herbs and citrusy flavors makes it a perfect complement to grilled meats and a variety of Sudanese dishes. Meat Kebabs Skewered and grilled pieces of marinated meat, often served with bread. 
Meat kebabs, also spelled as kebabs or kebabs, are a popular dish enjoyed in many cultures around the world. They consist of small pieces of marinated meat, usually beef, chicken, lamb, or pork, and sometimes vegetables or fruits, skewered on sticks and grilled to perfection. Here's a basic recipe for making meat kebabs. Ingredients for the marinade: one pound of your choice of meat, beef, chicken, lamb, or pork, cut into one-inch cubes. Two to three cloves of garlic, minced. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Two tablespoons of plain yogurt, optional for tenderizing. One teaspoon of ground cumin. One teaspoon of paprika. One half teaspoon of ground coriander. Salt and black pepper to taste. Juice of one lemon or lime. For the skewers, wooden or metal skewers. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for 30 minutes to prevent burning. Optional vegetables or fruits. Bell peppers, onions, cherry tomatoes, or pineapple chunks. Instructions: Prepare the marinade in a bowl. Combine the minced garlic, olive oil, plain yogurt. If using ground cumin, paprika, ground coriander, salt, black pepper, and the juice of one lemon or lime. Mix the marinade ingredients until well combined. Marinate the meat. Place the meat cubes in a zip-top bag or a shallow dish. Pour the marinade over the meat and ensure that all the pieces are coated evenly. Seal the bag or cover the dish and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes to allow the meat to marinate. For more flavor, marinate for up to four hours or overnight. Skewer the meat. If using wooden skewers, make sure they have soaked in water for at least 30 minutes to prevent burning. Thread the marinated meat onto the skewers, alternating with pieces of vegetables or fruits if desired. Grill the kebabs. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Place the meat kebabs on the grill and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, turning occasionally until the meat is cooked to your desired level of doneness. The cooking time may vary depending on the type of meat and the thickness of the cubes. Serve. Remove the meat kebabs from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve the kebabs hot with flatbreads, rice, or a simple salad. They also pair well with various sauces and condiments. Meat kebabs are a versatile and delicious dish that can be customized with different marinades and combinations of vegetables or fruits. They make for a flavorful and satisfying meal, whether served as an appetizer or a main course.